Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Tim Fall Hat Lady here. How you doing out there? Um, I just want to pop on here quick and make a quick video about the concept of understanding yourself as a spiritual being. And what I mean by that is understanding yourself as an eternal consciousness. A lot of us think when we die, our consciousness is extinguished. But it's not that way at all. In fact, this is our most dense body that we inhabit. Your consciousness has access to many different ethereal bodies. And your consciousness can use those bodies. And I think that in ancient Egypt and in other places, like in Peru, where they have all the doorways, or even in cathedrals, you'll see all these door, you know, false doorways, under, or lines of doors under one doorway, or in the ancient times, a false doorway with different doorways around. These are all your bodies. You have access to many bodies. Now, if you don't understand that you're eternal consciousness, and you think you just live one life and you're done, and you don't have any spiritual connection, then why would you be moral? What's life about then? Just buying stuff and having sex and eating and dominating all the animals and, you know, what's the point of it all? You're much, 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 much more than you think you are. And that's just facts. You're going to be pretty surprised when you die if you don't think that's true right now. So... It's super important to access your upper chambers. And what I mean by that is all your activity centers above the heart. You can be manipulated from the intellect, the emotional body, and the physical body. And that's what goes on here. It's a sympathy empathy loop. Sympathy is in the belly. Empathy is in the solar plexus with the mental body. And compassion is in the heart, the gateway to the upper chambers so that you can have truth, speak truth, have real learning, and then spit it out the top of your head and reroute that new conceptual wisdom that's been processed for other people. And that's how we evolve. And all you have to do is be authentic. You just have to deal. When I say process concepts, I mean, deal with all the environmental data. Honestly, just deal with it. We're so programmed to be left in the basement. It's like we're a tree and we're not allowed to sprout above the ground. Think of the ground line being your heart. We're not allowed to access to have our fruit grow finally. So I say this is the masculine structuring. The lower is the feminine, the wild chaotic feminine. And that's where they keep us. All our fairy tales of princesses locked in basements. It has to do with your relationship to yourself. There's nothing outside of you. This is a hologram. This is a holographic cafe and you're putting your order in all the time and you are in control. Now, if you knew you were in control, that would stop fear. Well, we can't have that. Fear is faith in the devil. Devil is lived spelled backwards. Evil is lived spelled backwards. So anything that's inverted, living your life standing on your head or never, you know, popping out, and making your fruit come up, just living in your lower chambers. That's an inversion of life. Just like if they turned the peace sign upside down. You know, when I was a kid, the peace sign used to be like this, like a tree. And then all the, soon, soon, soon it turned like upside down. I saw someone today wearing one upside down peace sign. It's, it's wrong. Again, it's a symbolic of them keeping us under the ground. <clears throat> In fear. In fear. Not able to live fully and have our fruit mature, each of us individually. And that's why I think Ubuntu concept, Michael Tellinger Ubuntu concept, if it's not good for one, it's not good for all, which is a contributionism. Um, so it's a one-to-many trade, not a one-to-one -one trade like money. And then everybody would feel more valued. If you were valued for your skills and talents, your innate skills and talents, where would mental health be? Yay, we wouldn't have half the problems we have if we would just value each other. So value you other, you, your human self and your other self. There's a really big anti-human agenda. And if you're down in your lower chambers, you're susceptible to the manipulation of that agenda. I feel very strongly about this. And that's why I say that Jesus rerouted the new conceptual wisdom of the concept of the spiritual body so that we have access to Christ consciousness. That's each of us living in our Shekinah, which is God's creation created in our authentic creative form, which is all in your above chambers, your throat, your insight, and your release. 
You are a great big electromagnetic being. You have a big field around you composed of these subtle bodies. And you need to be responsible for it and use it so that you're free and not manipulated into the program with the rest of the you-know-whats. And I think we're starting to see it pretty clearly now. So there's no authority outside you. And I'm not talking like a Luciferian Satanist chaos theory person. I'm saying have morals and respect. <laughs> you know what's right and wrong. And it's not healthy for society what's going on right now with our sexuality and our identities and all this stuff. It's not healthy. In fact, it's straight divisive. So I just wanted to pop on quick and say that. I know I'm ranting here now, but I love you all. And I want you to understand yourself in your upper chambers. And if any of you have any questions about this, please email me, tinfoilhatlady at gmail.com. And let's talk about it. Or bring me to your group so I can explain it to a group. <clears throat> I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing on this silly old planet anymore sometimes, you know? I was like, I go blah, 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 blah. Does it even matter? Anyways, if it does matter to you, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. I don't know until YouTube boots me off. They've demonetized me for years already. So love you, YouTube. I should just go direct on Rumble. Yeah, might as well. All right. Love you all. Take care out there. Peace out.